Chris Lavoie, you are no stranger to BFC Live. Welcome. I'm back. It's great to be back, Jay. It's back, bearded, better than ever. Um, uh, but you're not, uh, with, in your previous role, uh, we would check in with you and ask the experts. You are still expert, but you're at a different place. Talk about where you are. Talk about where you are. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, so obviously I was at Can Delta before, um, which was, was an awesome experience. I love that team. And so now I've transitioned into the tech e-commerce space. So currently I'm uh, working with a company called Gorgeous, uh, which is a customer support uh, help desk uh, for e-commerce merchants. And so I head up the tech partnerships channel with Gorgeous. That's amazing. And um, we started chatting, I don't know, maybe at the end of last year, beginning of this year, uh, maybe the beginning of this year, talking about um, this increase in retail. Let's talk about retail increase by necessity and by regulatory approval to e-commerce for uh, cannabis retailers and talk about what sort of clicks in your mind between how cannabis retailers are operating online and what Gorgeous is and does. Yeah, absolutely. So for some super quick context, Gorgeous, as I said, as a customer support help desk, we basically centralize every possible way that a customer could interact with your store, whether it's through email, phone, text message, live chat, contact us page, or even if they're just commenting on your social post, we pull all of that into one centralized view and allows you to engage with them in a really streamlined way. And you're having all the information available so you can give them stellar customer success. Um, the way I, I love the idea of marriaging, you know, forming a marriage with that platform in the cannabis industry is obviously customer experience is super key in any industry, but in the cannabis industry specifically, you only have such an, a, a small opportunity to connect with your customers and really impress them. Obviously with COVID, it's even more challenging. So how do you replicate that in-store experience online? You know, the groups like the Vitrina group, they do a great job educating people on how you can accomplish that. Um, and so, you know, it's really challenging to do. So the way I envision it is, is giving, you know, having all of that information pulled into say gorgeous, so you can interact with your customers faster. So obviously speed is key, but also understanding them. So for instance, in gorgeous, you can see their previous order history. You can see all the information that would help you give them a more personalized experience. So I see a tremendous opportunity for cannabis retailers here in Canada to start to embrace the e-commerce, you know, the online world and all the tools and apps that come along with it. Yeah, and it's so critical because we talk about a lot. How do you set yourself apart from the thousand other folks opening this year and the 300 that yeah. opened in 2020? Well, that's sort of one thing. But the other is, um, A, there aren't that many ways to do that, but also it, it may be unique to cannabis because it's new, is that everybody's experience is their almost first one, right? Like, yeah. especially if it's e-com, like everybody's had the Ontario Cannabis Store if they've ordered cannabis, but now you can go to private retailers, you can do this thing. How do you actually differentiate of that experience? And because I know from Vitrina Group, that experience is so critical for orders two, three, and four. Yeah, absolutely. It's 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 really difficult to differentiate differentiate yourself online. I think people are going to start to realize more and more is one of your most powerful tools that you can wield is separating yourself. So you, you know every store has a different feel and look on their website, but really what you want is a super clean pre and post purchasing experience. So as soon as you go on a website, you and I know Jay as shoppers, as soon as you run into any friction, we're basically done, right? Like there's, there's especially in a competitive market, if I can just go to the next website for a store that's just as close to me, then I'm just gonna go to the website. And if they give me a smoother shopping experience, which means being able to navigate product pages efficiently, having all the information that I want, for, you know, which is difficult because beginners are looking for certain information and advanced users are looking for different information. So how do you cater to that? You know, navigating through the entire purchasing process, completing your payment, which can be tricky for cannabis retailers because banks make it difficult for them. So really enabling that smooth purchasing experience and then also post-purchase. So if I have questions for your store, hey, like how do I know how much I should be using of this specific, you know, product? Um, a lot of people don't know how to do that. If they engage with your store, they want information and they want it fast, as we know, right? So how do you give them the support they need during the, you know, leading up to the sale? And how do you give them stellar support after the sale? Stores who can crush that are going to differentiate themselves in this crowded market. Yeah, I, I know there's uh, retailers all over the world, every different, um, every different vertical or sector, looking at that abandoned cart number. And that oh, yeah. just must eat at people. That just must be the bane of people's existence. And and we know we, we did some work around this uh, mid-year with our friends at Shopify. And we'll talk about this in a second. But really, like, how do you make that as frictionless as possible, given the scenario that everybody's operating in now? Um, and that is, you know, everybody should be number one goal. And we, we've also been talking to retailers who are looking at the sales online, and they are 
uh, a, a, you know, you know, say 12 to 13% or 15% of all sales of numbers, but dollar wise, it actually outperforms. So it's a super critical part of these people's business, especially amid lockdown. Yeah, absolutely. You, you hit the, the nail on the head with the, the, the abandoned cart recovery, for instance, right? So, you know, there's in the Shopify ecosystem as, you know, me entering this this new world, I'm amazed by the the tools and, and the functionality that's available. So there's, there's literally dozens of very powerful apps within the Shopify ecosystem completely dedicated to how do you recover those abandoned carts, right? So we integrate at Gorgeous with a number of those. Um, so for instance, if someone leaves their cart, you can send a, an SMS or an email to that person saying, hey, like you forgot something in your cart. If that customer responds to that message, asking some questions, we will pull that into Gorgeous and we can you know, answer that question really quickly to, to help uh, recover that abandoned cart. So it's key, as, you, as we know, in the online world, it's so easy to just abandon your shopping experience online versus like in store, you know, you have the pressure of, you know, sales associates like circling you like a shark, right? And it's, you feel more compelled to buy in store. And especially with COVID, you know, it's, you know, online retailers, especially in the cannabis world, they need to nail the online presence because it's, you know, for at least for, you know, for the time being, that's all they really have. Yeah. And so we're going to talk about a lot of these things on January 27th. It's a Cannabis Forward event. It's at noon. Uh, you're our partner in this at Gorgeous. We're also going to bring in folks from Shopify, folks from uh, Dutch Love, an actual retailer. We're going to see their setup, which is built on Shopify. Um, we're going to talk, so Shopify, we're going to talk to Little Rocket, which is a, a developer, which, which lives atop of Shopify. We're going to talk to you. We're going to talk to Kova, which integrates with all of this, which is a point of sale. We are super keen for this event because um, it is like a big differentiator for retailers right now and actually any cannabis company, but like right now it's like hypercritical, especially as we go into this really um, competitive environment throughout 2021 that at the end of 2021, you better, not at the end now, you better have yeah. your web game uh, up to snuff. And that's what we're going to be focused on uh, on the 27th. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm incredibly excited for this, Jay. Uh, someone who's super passionate with the cannabis industry and now, you know, very passionate with the e-commerce online world. This is perfectly timed. And, you know, for people who are thinking just jumping on Shopify as a cannabis store is just going to be as easy as, say, someone who's selling, you know, fashion goods. It's not the same at all. There's a lot of nuances that people need to think about. Like, for instance, you can't use Shopify Pay, um, which is beautiful. Like, I love anytime you use Shopify Pay, you know when you see it, it's beautiful, but you can't use that. Right. So you have to secure a third party gateway. So it's assembling this panel um, is perfect. You know, COVID ties so nicely into this little rocket is really well known. They've done a lot of big builds for, for some online stores and Dutch love has a great website. So yeah. it's uh, it's going to be really awesome to bring everybody together. It is. We encourage people to sign up and go to our webpage, businessofcannabis.ca, go to the events page. It's all there. You can register. It's free, uh, but you're going to learn a ton. And then, um, uh, Chris will actually stay on to talk everybody face to face uh, after the event. So, so stay on for that as well. Um, Chris Lavoie at Gorgeous. Nice to see you again in the business of cannabis realm. And we'll see you on the 27th. Thanks so much, Jay. Looking forward to it.